1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Old man? Man. Man. Sorry. What guy lives in that house over there? I'm 37! I what? I'm 37! I'm not old! Well, I can't just call you man. Well, you could say Lance! Well, I didn't know you were called Lance. Well, you didn't bother to fight out, did you? I did say sorry about that. What I object to is that you automatically cheat me like an inferior. Well, I am an agent. Oh, an agent, eh? Pretty nice. How did you get that, eh? By exploiting officers? But Lance, there's some little down here. Oh, I'm sorry. What's your name? I'm Leon, American agent serving out of the present. Whose house is that? A what agent? American agent. What's an American? Well, I'm an American, and we all are. We all, we are all Americans, and I'm an agent. I didn't know we had an agent. I thought we were a nominous collective. Now nah, you're fooling yourself. We're living in a dictatorship, a self-perpetuating autocracy in which the working classes. Oh, oh, there you go. Bringing classes into it again. That's what it's all about. Only people would hear him. Please, please, brothers, who lives in that house? No one lives there. Then who is your chief? We don't have a chief. What? I told you, when I knock at a synthesis commute, we take it in turns to act as a sort of executive officer for the week. Yes, but all the decisions of that officer have to be ratified at a special bi-weekly meeting. Yes, I see. By a simple majority in the case of purely internal affairs. Be quiet. But by a two-thirds majority in the case of more major, be quiet. I order you to be quiet. Order, eh? Who does he think he is? <laughs> I'm an I'm agent. Well, I didn't vote for you. You don't vote for agents. You vote for the president who votes for the agents. Well, how did you become an agent then? When I was a little boy, I was singing a uh, when my father said, give me some set to scene. Man, this guy's a loser. Yeah, I say we ditch him at the next stop. And that is why I am an agent. Listen, strange women lying in ponds distributing swords is no basis for a government system. Supreme executive power drives from a mandate from the masses, not from some farcical aquatic ceremony. I wasn't talking about women lying in ponds. Now be quiet. Well, but you can't expect to wield supreme executive power just cause some watery tart threw a sword at you. Shut up. I mean, if I went around saying I was an emperor just because some moisted bit had lobbed a cinder at me, they'd put me away. Shut up. Will you just shut up? Ah, now we see the violence inherent in the system. Shut up. Oh, come and see the violence inherent in the system. Help, help, I'm being repressed. You bloody cop. Oh, what a dead giveaway. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Did you see him repressing me? You saw it, didn't you? 